Hi everybody, you have fun watching my next we bring everything that is awesome in gaming, like this, this glorious beast right here. This is Geralt of Rivia. Love him or hate him, Geralt of Rivia is one of the most influential fictional characters of all time. Um, he spawned an entire franchise largely off of his machismo. Um, Geralt is your dad if you grew up in the 80s. Uh, he is a witcher who is uh, one of the old Polish guardians um, in Slavic mythology. Um, it, it's new Slavic mythology. Uh, who goes out and hunts monsters for you. So he has more than one love interest, but not really. Um, it's always understood that, um, you know, he lost his memory and that's why he was with Triss. Um, and so on. And they kind of take you through the story that way. Um, where he is a lone wolf. Um, but he has this very tightly knit family that just absolutely refuse to fight over each other. Um, so you kind of get this really interesting driving plot line um, that really never gives up on itself. Um, so Prince Amir has invaded, and we're going to get this Holy Roland priest in here in a second who really just wants to know and um, really is going to bring it to the table. Now, they start out with, uh, despite being just insanely graphic heavy, as you can see, they start out with this opening scene um, where a nobody priest is kind of um, rallying up the peasants because the Nilf Guardians are see dead. you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. So it goes through where the confluence brought magic into the world, and really men just landed on elves and dwarves, and the witchers have shouldered most of that burden, because it's still kings and queens. So that's all the democracy that they have, is these men who can fight, and sorcerers is who advise. We're going to skip this. You're familiar with the series. I'm using this several times. Now we did finally catch up with Yennefer, and um... She introduces us to Geralt Emperor and Emir. Emperor were reunited, and something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. So, like I said, they had this little family, um, and they just refused to give that up. Um, Geralt operated out of Kerr Morwen. Um, so one of his friends who's narrating went along with him until he found Yennefer. You know, they're never, they're loners, but they're never really alone. Um, merchants, other mercenaries, you know, um, other outcasts and so on kind of cling together in that sort of environment. Elf Guardian soldiers are kind of crazy. Quest completed Imperial audience. So I did manage to um, work that one out, thank goodness. New marker, Hangman's Tree. So I can explore a little bit more around here, or I can just equip myself and go. Um, it looks like... Oh, okay. So that's just it letting me know. I don't know if I want to get into that. One heck of a side quest. New quest, Nilf Guardian connection. So we're going to go find Cirilla. Um, obviously, we knew we were going to do that. Everybody who's seen any media on the internet knows that we're going to do that. And then we're going to travel to Velen. So, um, and the Emperor, for whatever reason, is not exactly losing the war, but he had to call for reinforcements. So that's interesting. Uh, the Northern King turned on his usual ally and conquered the land, um, uniting the people. That was unexpected. So, just is what it is. Switch to the continent view. What's this here? I'm curious. That quest available, a new quest at this location. Travel to Velen. 
Nilfgaardian connections, which is kind of a view world map. Really, what I want to do is travel. To return to the. Okay. To open a map of the given region, so I want to go here. And I want to go to the hangman's tree. Okay, interesting. So we're going to Gelt jump to and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. So Our Lady Love asked us to go and check it out, and obviously we're going to. Um, it's going to drop us into... Um, how do you say a whole lot of trouble? <laughs> can change signs while parrying and using buttons for sheathing and drawing your swords. You're a witcher. You kind of expect that out of life. So it's not particularly shocking that they would, you know, you'd have to go running all over a continent if one of your friends does need help. Um, you don't have a whole lot of emotions as a mutant. So you kind of keep it tight and keep it together. Um, very few of Gerald's motivations are described as anything other than connections. Um, you know, it's not that he's so desperately in love or that he's, you know, driven by his passion so much as that he knows Jennifer and he trusts her and he has a longstanding relationship with her. And the same with Cirilla. She was his ward, so he takes that very seriously. Um, and they take that seriously in the series, which is awesome. Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Sir. <gasps> so Hendrik is going to go in um, and try and track down Siri as well, it looks like. Um, we are obviously going to try and beat him to the punch. Um, the Hanging Tree is going to come into it somehow, and we don't know how yet. Um, so we're super excited to... Oops, I have my mouse and my controller running here. Um, hold on one second. <laughs> so let me get this off screen. So we're going to basically ride into town. Um, we are going to uh, track down whatever leads we have and then hopefully meet up with Siri. Now, Yennefer took a different route. So she is looking um, over where a huge battle occurred and then some sort of magical outburst. And she's going to look into that. So we're kind of going to try and meet in the middle. Um, all that you really have when you're a mercenary is your contacts. So um, this is our little family, and they're referred to that way constantly. I think it's one of the reasons that people love the franchise is because of Geralt's... Um, Geralt, the old Polish, the Slavic mythology, presents us with um, this grizzled you know, determined, um, kind of, uh, he has an antipathy towards life. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, and he kind of doesn't care. Um, but at the center of it all, when you are in trouble, that's who you go to get is Geralt of Rivia or another witcher. So they gave us our fathers, um, which was interesting. And people adored it. Uh, they loved the games. They loved the books. And now there's a Netflix series and they love that as well. Um, so... It's, uh, it was the sort of um, feels that really lent itself to um, the sprawl and Hi everyone, you have found what to play next for bringing everything that is awesome in gaming. So we have we are going into Northern Temeria to find Siri. Um, we got a word from her father that he wants her back. She's gone, been running around with bandits and so on. Um, and our Old lady love Jennifer, uh, Jennifer of Vengerberg, you know, gave us a tip that she might be here. So we're going to go in, we're going to check it out and um, get a hold of her. So really moving, incredible place. Um, it gets a little noir and so on. We're really concerned for her. This is our adopted family. We're mercenaries. So if you've never been, you know, a part of the series before, it's really just an incredible franchise. You play a monster who hunts monsters. Okay, so we're going to um, head up on to the... Looks like we have a little side quest, but I'm going to skip that for, like, right now. I love the flavor that they add to it, but there is so much storyline here that I really just feel like I'll bury all if I um, wind up doing that. Hold on. Why does it have... 
I think we can cut across the... Oh no! I think we can cut across here. But I don't know that it's going to be faster. It actually might not be. Roach doesn't seem to want to go in the water. Oh, he throws me. Oh, this is insanity. Well, thankfully, I really am like a kick and sword fighter. Um, this is an incredible technique. Going low on this. Don't hit Roach. No hitting the horsey. Okay. So let's get back on the... <laughs> what do we do if we fall off the horse? Hmm? Roach, what do we do? Oh my goodness, hold on. Roach, hold on. Sweetie. What am I doing? Get down. Yes, go check on the corpse. There's a corpse. What's going on? Nothing but flowers. How odd. They have the weirdest little Easter egg on this. You mount a horse from the left if you've never ridden before. Freaks me out when people just jump onto it otherwise from YouTube. Um, yeah, so it's showing me this path, but my compass runs to a completely different place. So. Go, go. He should be able to wade through the water a little bit. If not, I'll just call him afterwards. I mean, Lord knows I can swim. So I don't know where that was taking me, um, but my destination appears to be like right here. And then I can just call him by, um, if I press the left trigger twice, then he'll, then he'll swim. <laughs> Not if it entertains me, friend, no. It's, you know, if the computer deems it, you know, logistically possible after I'm off of his back. Oh look, you can see his little horse he had moving on the um on the compass there. Alright. So we're heading on into town. It decides they throw a flock of birds in graphics, but my poor graphics card is maxed on this game. Like it is there. In and Velen. Um and we have to track down Siri and see, you know, like, is there any good gossip on what's been going on? Is there any sort of, you know, like what's going on here? Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What so we're, with him? we're gonna tail her tails, to basically. Give me a bottle of something strong. It's not stupid to buy something if you find yourself stuck like that. Just buy something to keep him talking. They walk out. Is that the man himself? You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Why do I have to go? I haven't finished my drink. I want to hear about the visitors. Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vodka. Ooh. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Lots of people have two swords, sir. Hey boy, what's the point of having two swords? We over provision. He keeps an extra prick in his presence. What would you? What would you even do with that? Gonna say who you are. It looks like me. Ready. Ooh, we got a couple options. Um, I'm, how about care for a drink? Why not charm? Let's try charm. I mean. You know, he's got looks. Well, I buy everybody around. Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share a round, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Ooh. On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and hormongers. That's what I heard. You know, we're for it. To your health and mine. That's an awful mystery to leave unsolved. They won't go after a drink, will they? Or the bench you can use. Yes, we successfully avoided the confrontation. Look at us. We're amazing. We're witchers in training, friend. So, 
and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I say probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> we got interrupted by some dangerous strangers, but we can finish talking with the innkeeper. We need to know where Siri is. I'm starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? Very so no. early. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrick. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Hmm. Do you know anything? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrick? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Not bad. <laughs> All right, well, we're this glorious beast of a man. Your father and mine. He's a daddy figure if I ever saw one. Um, so... Beautiful graphics, really incredible setting. Um, the Slavic, there's a guy named Bruno who obviously we are going to talk to next time. So we don't talk about Bruno and we're gonna find out. But I'm gonna save it here um, so to finally get through it. So we're on, hot on the track of, of at least, you know, somebody who's spying on Siri and Yennefer is trying to meet us in the middle while we put our little family back together. So really fascinating storyline we love you guys we love that you're going for the ride um link in the description below if you do want to play along also down there is gamer grind gamer coffee to your sh um ship to your door you can put your logo on merch support the pirate queen we've got ours on there obviously okay well, i buy this chick at coffee one dollar make me smile we're on patreon so if you do want to support us there please do join the tribe subscribe uh you'll get a little thumbnail and it'll show you what it is we're doing for the day and how that's affecting gaming um we've been involved in everything from tv to you know fantasy series like i like lightly touched base on movies but from there it was mostly just gaming and stuff like that so we have bring a lot to the table as far as explanation um insight into mythology and that sort of thing really just really a cool skill set and i love sharing with you um so most of all hit subscribe so that we can you know Share our stuff with you. We love hearing from you, but we love lurkers as well. So you're always welcome. Stay safe. Aim on. We'll see you next video.